Are you good? Yep. Am I your way? Monte, what do you take away uh, just from this season? You guys obviously had a ton of success getting to the second round. What are your primary takeaways? Um, I thought we had a great season. I feel like every uh, goal that we had uh, going into training camp that we put up on the board, we could definitely take it off besides winning the championship. Um, you know, taking what we built on from the year before, and I feel like we exceeded, you know, everyone's expectations. I feel like with the great season we had, people still doubted us, and we still went out there and did what we did and, and showed the world, you know, being one game away from the Western Conference Finals was big. So, I mean, I know it sucks losing, but, I mean, we're a young team, and a lot of guys don't got 14 playoff games under their belt, you know. So, um, I think that's big going forward for us. Why was this team so special? You talk about how people doubted you all season long. You went through so much adversity with injuries and all that. How did you guys stay together? What made you so close? Why was it so special? Um, I think because everybody was open to definitely um, listen to what each guy had to say. Um, it wasn't always just one guy stepping up and uh, saying something. Um, so he gave everybody a chance to feel comfortable and feel welcome. And he gave you more of a college style locker room. A lot of jokes on planes and uh, just a lot of team bonding. We did a lot of team dinners more than I normally had done on previous teams. And that, and that shows a lot, especially in the NBA. You know, guys got their own agenda when they get places and things. But for people to take time and do that is big. And I think it showed on the court all year. This is a big season for you, obviously, as well. You haven't had a ton of time to reflect on it. But what can you say about your personal growth and how you're feeling? Um, I'm feeling good, man. Um, like this year, everything was happening so fast for me. Um, I had an opportunity to um, back up Jamal, you know, while Isaiah was out, and uh, I made the best of it. Um, personally, um, I know I struggled like in the playoffs some, but overall, I feel like for me being my first time going through this long season, um, it's, it's kind of like two college seasons that I just played. So. For me to hit my walls where I did and came back from it, um, I didn't try to get too down on myself because I know I could play at this level. But it was tough going, you know, later in the season, um, the wear and tear on my body and things like that. Just not having that experience. But overall, you know, I was proud of myself and how I took on challenges and playing against, you know, the all-time greats in this league. So. Um, the good takeaways was I, I feel like I was playing Monte basketball for the most part and had a ton of fun. You spent a lot of time in the offseason getting better and working on your game. Yeah. What's your plan for, for this offseason? How do you um, want to play? Really, I mean, people don't know this about me. I'm real like stiff, like my body's stiff. So like flexibility is going to be big for me this summer, working on my hip power, getting a lot faster, and, and um, really just like my mobility. Um, on court, I'll still be the same, grinding like I was last summer, but I'm gonna focus more like on my body as far as movement and things like that, so I can you know, be more durable down the stretch of the season and uh, not have them nicks you know, here and there. So I think that's my biggest focus. What do you think you proved to people this year? Um, you know, that I can play um, at this level. Um, even the games where we had to step up and uh, like the second year on the men Malik when we were in the starting rotation, um, it wasn't really a downfall. You know, we put up big numbers when we our number was called in the starting lineup. I think overall, I just showed everybody in the league, you know, um, a guy that only played 23 minutes the year before, really took advantage of a situation and waited till his number got called and um, went out there and tried to play and get my teammates involved every single night and have fun. Monte, the, the guy that was just standing here, I know a lot of the fan base is excited to see him play. What, what's just your, your thought on um, how eager you guys are to, to see what he can bring to this team next year? I mean, we see a lot. Um, we see him every day when they plan and uh, things like that. He's special for sure. Um, he can handle it, shoot it, and he's six, six level. He can <laughs> dunk the ball crazy. He's a freak athlete, sure. Um, and, the, and the best thing about Mike, you know, he feels like he's the best player on the court at all times, you know, no matter who's out there. Um, he carries that swagger by himself. And I feel like that'll be easy for him to adjust when he steps into the rotation just because you know, with that swagger, you're going to go out there and play confident, you know, no matter who you plan. So um, I think it's good for him to see the success we had, you know, him being a rookie, him and Jared. Uh, so coming in the summer league, they can attack it like that in training camp. 
they can see where we left off. So I feel like it's good for them. Will you be here in Michigan? Uh, I'll be back and forth. Um, probably going like a little vacation somewhere. Just relax. <laughs> <I'm> tired. <laughs> hey, Monte, what can uh, the young guys like you or even um, Mike or Vando learn from just a playoff run like you guys just went on? Um, I mean, you can just learn that, you know, we're really young, but we got a lot of talent. Uh, and we can see we see where we can get to. Um, you know, I talked to a few guys. Paul was saying that, you know, when Golden State uh, were young, around our age, like 2013, they did kind of the same type thing. They would come up short, but they start getting a lot of buzz, and then they actually put it together the years after that. So, um, you know, you lose some, but you got to lose to start somewhere, you know, to test the bar. And I think um, this season was big for us. Like, everybody want to win the championship, you know, but at the end of the day, it's nothing like experience. And um, for us to be this young and get that so early, um, I think it's been the Does media. Last night's loss become the same type of motivation that losing that game eighty two last year was. Yeah, um, especially we wanted to beat them bad, um, real bad. Uh, they wanted to beat us bad too. You know, they traveled with some good fans. Um, it just lead that uh, feeling in your stomach. Just know you was up so much, and the momentum was flowing. The crowd was into it, and then you know they made a run, and we never could really answer from it. Um, it's just like letting something slip away, but. Um, you know, God don't make mistakes. Everything happened for a reason, and uh, we gotta go back to the drawing board and actually have Fjord on fire for next season going to training camp. Monte, what was the overall feeling as you're doing these final interviews and cleaning out your locker? Uh, that is over. Um, last night I couldn't sleep. The night before I couldn't sleep. Uh, just knowing how close we were, you know, to advancing is real tough. Um, but you know, like I said, the takeaways from it. We can't dwell on it too much. Um, we had a, a phenomenal season, man. Um, a lot of people wouldn't even had us going this far, you know. So I feel like you can be sad, you can be down, but at the end of the day, we just got to keep our head high. We know what we did wrong, and we know we can be a way better team next year with a lot of our pieces we got. Thanks, Monster. Thanks, Thanks man. Enjoy your vacation. Sorry, keep on Sorry. Yeah. You guys want us to grab that? Oh, that'd be lovely. All right. Thank you. Tell me when it works. Nice, but Jesus. He is um, going to play in some league, and he was never really expected to play this season. <laughs> and he had a pull back, and he said it wasn't real area injury, it was something else that was related, but I had to deal with. Um, yeah. But he'll, you know, he'll play in summer league. Like. Hmm. You think we should post these like um, in bunches? Like, yeah. 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 Ye